Hi, and welcome. I am so glad you're here. This week, we have launched six new prints and colors of Kabooties, so I'm so excited to share those with you. I hope you'll stick around and see what we have to offer. In case you don't know, my name is Kelly. I'm the mom behind Kabooties, and I run the business here out of my home base studio where I make and ship shoes for you in cooperation with a couple of other local women who sew your shoes by hand, and we're just so thankful for your support for this teeny tiny little business, um, and I'm so glad you found me today today. So let's jump in and talk about these shoes. Um, first of all, these blue gingham are part of our new collection and I'm absolutely in love with them. It's such a pretty, pretty shade of blue in that like buffalo plaid, buffalo check style. Um, so these are one of our new shoes and I'm pulling them out partially to show you this print, but partially um, to give you a quick rundown of what Kabuti's baby shoes are and why you're going to love them. This elastic right here seems really simple, but it's actually my very favorite feature. This opens up really, really, really wide. Um, so you can very easily put a chunky baby foot in, a squirmy baby foot in, and it cinches right back down. To be snug, it's not tight, but it will fit snugly around their ankle to make sure that these shoes do not fall off. They don't get kicked off and they're super comfortable, so they're not going to get pulled off. These shoes actually stay put on squirmy feet. Even with kids that don't like to wear shoes, nine times out of 10, kids actually want to wear kabooties when they don't want anything on their feet. So this elastic is going to make it easy to put them on and they're going to stay put. All kabooties have flexible rubber soles. That, and when I say flexible, I mean like really, really flexible to protect their feet and give them traction while also giving the feeling of walking barefoot, um, which we designed in cooperation with the AAP recommendations for baby shoes. You should always put your child in something that mimics walking barefoot and gives their feet flexibility while protecting their feet and giving them a little bit of traction. So that is our rubber soles. I've showed you the elastic. Now I'm gonna show you inside the shoes. This is a cotton flannel lining. It's very, very soft. It's very breathable. It's washable. Um, and so that's what's gonna be up against the top of your baby's foot. There's actually no insole in these shoes. So it's just the, the back of this rubber sole is all that's in the insole. And the reason for that again is to give your child the feeling of walking barefoot while still offering a little bit of protection so that their feet can grow and develop because they are still so tiny as they take those first steps. Now the upper on any pair of kabooties that has a print is made out of recycled canvas. Now I actually create the art that goes on the fabric. I send it to a company in North Carolina and they print um, that art onto fabric that's made out of recycled plastic water bottles, which is cool. Um, partially because you're taking plastic out of the environment. There's a half a water bottle in every pair of baby shoes and two whole recycled water bottles in every pair of mommy slippers. So that's pretty neat on its own, but it's going to benefit you too, because these shoes are actually water resistant because of that recycled plastic in that outer fabric. Um, so that's the outer. All of those textiles are machine washable. So if your kabooties get dirty, if they get stinky, whatever, just throw them in the wash with your laundry, pull them out, and they're as good as new. So these are blue gingham and kind of a rundown on kabooties baby shoes in general. And I'm going to show you four more prints and then a solid. This is the house plants print. This was inspired by the actual plants in my house. You've got some monstera in there. You've got some snake plants in there. This is on a navy blue background that's got a little bit of a texture to it, which was intentional. If these shoes get dirty, that's going to do a great job of hiding any little spills or stains or dirt. Um, but again, they're water resistant and you can throw them in the wash. So you're not going to have a huge problem with them getting dirty. Um, but just in case you do. These are navy blue, which I love for fall because it matches all kinds of outfits. Even in this fun little print, it's going to match a ton of um, pants and outfits too. Now this print, I just told you about how I make the art for our fabric, was actually a print I designed for summer. It was a white background with neon flowers. And then I forgot about it for the summer collection. And then when I rediscovered it, I thought, oh, this is too cute to not become a pair of shoes. So I reworked the colors into some of my favorite colors for fall. So this is a rust background 
This flower here and this little tulipy shaped flower are actually a blush pink. I think they might look white on my screen, but these are actually pink flowers. There's some navy blue and some olive in here. And these are all of my favorite colors for fall. They're um, Pantone colors of the year for fall. Uh, they're going to match a ton of things. So that's kind of why I pulled out all those, those colors that your baby will tend to wear this time of year, like their blue denim, olive, blush pink. This is going to match great with all those things. So here's that. I think we called it rust floral. Now this is the print that was the absolute favorite in the Kabooties community. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, I hope you'll go find us. It's called the Kabooties community on Facebook. And this is um, a mustard, excuse me, mustard with white polka dots. It's pretty straightforward. And the same as our other prints I showed you, this is recycled canvas, rubber soles, and a soft flannel lining with that elastic around the ankle. The last print I'm going to show you is actually a re-release. This was also part of last year's fall collection, and it is back by popular demand. These foxes, they're cute little orange foxes on a gray background, a great gender neutral, goes with everything, um, and very much in that fall wildlife theme. The last one I'm going to show you is a solid. It is not made of recycled canvas. It is actually corduroy. You can see it's super soft and fuzzy. Now, one little caveat I'm going to give you on these. If you are looking for slippers for your toddler to wear on the house, if you're looking for shoes for a non-mobile baby, this is a great option. If you're looking for a daily shoe for your active toddler, I would not recommend this corduroy print. I would go with one of these recycled canvas options I just showed you. Because this is corduroy and the toes are corduroy, they would be susceptible to wear if you wore them like running on textured concrete. I wouldn't recommend that for these shoes. These are great house slippers. These are corduroy, which is super, super soft, super on trend for fall. This olive matches everything. If you're looking for a solid to wear outside, any of our brush denim options on the site, like there's black, navy, there's a gray and a burgundy. I would recommend those more for outdoor use than this corduroy. This corduroy is a great house slipper. It's a great indoor shoe and it's perfect for non-mobile babies too. All right, that is the entirety of the fall line. That's all the prints and colors I have to share with you. I wanted to let you know, we also offer them in adult sizes. A quick rundown of our adult styles. And sorry, I've got them up on hangers just so, so I can store them in my office. But this is our adult slipper. Just like the baby shoes, they're made of recycled canvas with the exception of the corduroy and denim options. They have those flexible rubber soles. These have elastic around the heel. They do not have elastic in front of the foot to accommodate better the way an adult foot is shaped, which is very different from the way a toddler foot is shaped. So these are shaped like a grown-up foot for our grown-up people. They still have that soft cotton lining, but unlike the baby shoes, these have a little bit of an insole too. This is made of fleece. I use fleece in the insole because it's moisture wicking. So if your feet sweat, it's gonna pull that sweat away from your feet, keep your feet cool and dry, while this cotton lining is gonna allow great airflow and keep your feet cool. And just like our baby shoes, these are 100% machine washable. Wear them around the house, wear them out to the mailbox, wear them driving around in your car for all those curbside pickups and school drop-offs, and then throw them in the washing machine and then start over like they're a brand new pair of shoes. So these are adult slippers and they're available in all of the colors and prints that you can find our baby shoes in, including all of those six new prints and colors of fall shoes I just showed you. Um, so that's it for the fall line. Thank you for sticking around this long. If you're interested in snagging a pair for yourself, head over to kabooties.com. That's www.kabooties.com. And you'll find that there. Um, if you're specifically looking for the fall collection, the address is right here, kabooties.com slash collection slash fall. If you have any questions at all about any of these kabooties, I hope you'll join us in the kabooties community. It's our Facebook group. It's a group of like-minded parents who love kabooties baby shoes, who are into kabooties adult slippers, and just want to have a place to connect with other parents, get your questions answered, and, and just talk about parenting stuff. So I hope you'll find us there in the Kabooties community to get all your questions answered, or you can always email me directly, kelly at kabooties.com. I'm here for you at any time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.